Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and today I want to show something really exciting. So as you know, I've written a lot of blog posts about different topics, but especially in the last four years about Cyprus. So these are all my posts about Cyprus, as you can see there is almost 150 of them. I also shot a lot of videos about Cyprus on my YouTube channel that you can find Gleb Bakhmutov, so Cyprus tips and tricks. 106 videos and I also have been adding examples of Cypress commands and recipes um, on my Cypress example site. The problem is how do you actually find something? You don't know where it is. Is it in the Cypress documentation? Is it in these examples? Right? They each have their own search, right? But they all are unrelated to each other and so it becomes harder to find something that you're looking for so finally i put everything together so i have a website called cypress tips this is my site it's not affiliated with cypress io but it keeps all my knowledge about cypress in one place you can find the, li the links to videos you can find um, webinars and so on I finally added a search page. Now, you might think, why is it like three different searches? I haven't connected them quite yet. So the bottom one is official Cypress documentation, right? So it goes and uses the same public uh, search that uh, Cypress docs do. And if you find something like installing Cypress, you can open it and it goes right to the docs. You can also find my examples, for example, for, uh, for checkbox, right? And this goes to my Cypress examples, which is regularly updated and is auto indexed. And finally, if you want to search my blog post specifically, uh, for example, how to do React native testing, right? Notice these are all my blog posts and it goes right to my blog post. So use this search if you want to find something in my blog post. Use the second one if you want to see examples of commands, right? or recipes and finally use the bottom search if you want to search uh, official Cypress documentation. 